Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve equations that are reducible to linear differential equations. This is continuation of my previous video. Link of that video is given in the description box. In this video, we are going to learn type 2 of such differential equations that can be reducible to linear differential equations. So let us see how does this type 2 differential equations look like. Under this type, differential equation look like f dash y into dy by dx plus p into f of y is equal to q, where p and q are functions of x. Note that whatever function of y you have in the second term, its derivative is there in the first term along with dy by dx. On RHS side, you just have q that is function of x. Now, to solve this differential equation, we are going to use a substitution technique. We are going to put f of y is equal to v. Differentiating both the sides of this substitution, we get on LHS, f dash y into dy by dx is equal to on RHS, dv by dx. Now, after substituting these two expressions in this differential equation, we get first term as dv by dx, second term as p into v is equal to q. So, new differential equation is dv by dx plus pv is equal to q. Before transformation, this differential equation was in terms of y. Now, this differential equation is in terms of v. Now, let us see how to solve this differential equation. We know that this is an LDE in V and LDE in V can be solved after converting it into an exact differential equation with the help of an integrating factor. In this particular case, an integrating factor is given by e raised to integration of p dx where this p is coming from the second term of the differential equation. After substituting this integrating factor into general solution formula, which is given by V into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into Q dx plus C, we get solution to this differential equation. Note that this is solution to the differential equation given in terms of V. To get the solution, for the differential equation given in terms of y, we have to re-substitute value of v which we have assumed f of y. Now let me show you some real examples of this. Consider this differential equation, we have to solve it. tan y into dy by dx plus tan x is equal to cos y into cos cube x. Now, when we observe this differential equation, we found that RHS is cos y into cos cube x. But if you compare it with the form that I showed you, you will find that on RHS side, we want function of x alone, that is q. So, we have to keep this cos cube x on RHS, taking this cos y on the other side. Or simply divide this differential equation by cos y, we get a new differential equation. So, after a division, we get 1 upon cos y into tan y that is just sec y into tan y dy by dx plus tan x upon cos y that is sec y into tan x is equal to cos cube x. Now, this fits into the type 2 form in which we have f dash y into dy by dx plus f of y into p is equal to q, where p and q are functions of x. Note that here f of y is sec y and its derivative is sec y into tan y is along with dy by dx in the first term. So, this looks like as I said f dash y dy by dx plus p into f of y is equal to q. Here p is tan x, q is cos cube x and f of y is sec y. So, to solve this differential equation, we first convert it in terms of 
v by substituting this f of y is equal to v that is sec y is equal to v after differentiating both the sides we get sec y into tan y dy by dx is equal to dv by dx let's substitute these two expressions in this differential equation so we get a new differential equation given by dv by dx plus tan x into v is equal to cos cube x this is a linear differential equation in v where p is tan x and q is cos cube x now let's find out corresponding integrating factor for this it is given by e raised to integration p dx p is tan x so this becomes e raised to integration of tan x dx integration of tan x is log of sec x so integrating factor becomes e raised to log of sec x since this log is with base e e raised to log sec x becomes just sec x so the corresponding integrating factor is sec x now we put this integrating factor into general solution formula which is given by v into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into q dx plus c let's substitute for i f and q q was cos cube x so rhs becomes integration of sec x cos cube x dx plus c sec x is 1 by cos x so this 1 by cos x and 1 cos x from the numerator will get cancelled we will have integration of cos square x dx according to the formula of cos 2 x we can write cos square x as 1 by 2 1 plus cos 2 x integration of 1 with respect to x is x integration of cos 2 x is sin 2 x upon 2 so solution to the differential equation in terms of v is given by v sec x is equal to half x plus sin 2x by 2 plus c. Finally, we resubstitute value of v over here. If you remember, let me tell you v we have taken as sec y. So after substituting sec y for v, we get answer as this. This is solution to the given differential equation in terms of y. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Let me show you one more example. Here the differential equation is dy by dx is equal to e raised to x minus y into e raised to x minus e raised to y. First we rearrange the terms of this differential equation and we will put it into the form of type 2 differential equation. First we write this e raised to x minus y as e raised to x upon e raised to y now we multiply this term inside this bracket so first term becomes e raised to 2x upon e raised to y and second term becomes e raised to x alone because this e raised to y will get cancelled with e raised to y over here now we multiply throughout this differential equation by e raised to y to get e raised to y into dy by dx is equal to e raised to 2x minus e raised to x into e raised to y. Since on RHS we want function of x alone that is e raised to 2x here, we will take this term on the LHS side. So after rearranging the terms, we get e raised to y dy by dx plus e raised to x into e raised to y is equal to e raised to 2x. Note that this differential equation now looks like f dash y into dy by dx plus p into f of y is equal to q, where here f of y is e raised to y. Its derivative is also e raised to y. Here p is e raised to x and q is e raised to 2x. To solve this differential equation, first we convert it into differential equation in V using substitution f of y is equal to V. Taking derivative of both the sides, we get e raised to y into dy by dx is equal to dv by dx. Now let's substitute these expressions in this differential equation. We get 
first term to be dv by dx second term becomes e raised to x into v and third term is e raised to 2x like this now this is a linear differential equation in terms of v where p is e raised to x and q is e raised to 2x now we find the corresponding integrating factor for this differential equation which is given by e raised to integration of p dx p is e raised to x so substituting for p here we get e raised to integration of e raised to x dx integration of e raised to x is e raised to x so integrating factor becomes e raised to e raised to x now we put this integrating factor into general solution formula which is given by v into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into q dx plus c let's substitute for i f and q we get this new equation to solve this rhs integral we are gonna use substitution e raised to x is equal to t differentiating both the sides we get e raised to x dx is equal to dt now we split up this e raised to 2x as e raised to x into e raised to x one e raised to x can be written as just t another e raised to x with dx can be written as dt and this term in the bracket e raised to e raised to x can be written as e raised to t so after transformation on rhs we get integration of e raised to t into t dt plus c to solve this integral we will use integration by parts rule taking u is equal to t and v is equal to e raised to t so the integration on rhs becomes u into integration of v that is just e raised to t minus integration of integration of v into derivative of t that is 1 so rhs integrals value is t e raised to t minus e raised to t plus c finally we substitute value of v here which was e raised to y so we get this as solution to the given differential equation i hope you understood every step of this solution now i have two diy questions for you along with these questions i am giving you the final solution so that you can tally your answer please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these questions and you got these solutions or not thank you all of you thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos